Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all doing great today. I'm loving this beautiful look. So this is a hair and makeup tutorial on how I achieved this beautiful look. So I'm gonna start with the Cantu Living Conditioner Cream for Natural Hair. I will apply this on my hair, all over my hair, from the roots uh, to the top of my hair, all over my hair basically. And I've had my natural hair for about two years now, or thereabout. Then after that, I will, I will also apply the Cantu Grow Strong Hair Treatment. This is to my hair is very light, so this helps. I've been applying it for a while, and it it's helping the thickness of my hair kind of but i really don't apply so much of it i just apply a little bit on the my front hair and a little part of my hair then also i'll be going in with the jamaican organic coconut hair because i have dry scalp i like to apply this coconut hair on my scalp you know it helps moisturize my scalp and leave my scalp moist then i will also spray a little bit of water this is just water in a bottle I spread a little bit of water to help me comb my hair with ease and without pain. I'll be packing my hair with the rubber band just pack it behind a little bit like in a ponytail style I'll also be brushing my hair with a brush just to make it a little bit smooth before I apply my gel I'll be applying the Echo Styler gel but before that I have to spray a little bit of water so it would help my gel help my hair absorb in the gel you need to be generous with your gel really apply the gel as much as your hair can um, take so that the hair will come out very flat though the echo styler gel is for natural hair i've not tried another gel since i went natural but i've been using echo styler gel and it's the, it really uh, flats my hair and i carry it all day without my hair coming up the olive oil edge control on my edges and um, like for my baby hair on the edges just to flatten it up and with a brush I'll brush out my edges brush out the baby hair and then I will be using a scarf to wrap the hair so that it keeps it flat, to make the hair flat. That's why I'm wrapping it with a scarf. But I will not be using just one scarf. I'll be using two scarves just to wrap the hair. allow the hair to dry I will move over to my makeup I already done my brows off camera and also apply a primer Tara mattifying primer on my skin so I will just go ahead and be applying the classic eyeshadow primer on my lid before I go in with the eyeshadow I'm using this color from my random palette and i'll be applying that first on my crease that will be the color that will be on my crease but i don't really want a loud um, eyeshadow so i'm doing everything mild and just blending it up in and after that i will go into the same palette and take this color it's a little bit like um, cream or silver i'm not really sure but i'll be applying that on my lid and then blend it up and same color i'll apply on my brow bowl Remember the trick about eyeshadow or makeup generally is blend, good blending. Don't get tired of blending, just blend, blend, blend. 
and after that i'll be applying the just gold deep liner in black i will be drawing out a little bit of wing and that's just it And then I'll brush out my eyelashes before I go in with the falsies. I'll be applying my lashes with the dual lash glue. And then I would also cover up the um, glue line with my eyeliner. And I'll be color correcting my face with the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector covering up any spots or blemish on my face now when you're color correcting not just to just put the color on your face but also blend it up a little bit and then i'll be applying the la girl pro coverage foundation in soft honey and I'll be applying it to the Higa and Esther Beauty Blender. This Beauty Blender is really nice and great. I really like it. And after properly blending my foundation with the Beauty Blender, I would then be highlighting my face with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Yellow Corrector. And we know to highlight your face after a foundation helps in defining your face and not just making your face look flat or have just one color. And it also helps your face when light hits your face to actually bring out your makeup. And then I'll be blending in the concealer with the beauty blender that I used previously for my foundation but this time I'll be spraying the Zyron finishing spray on it to make it a bit damp and now to make my concealer crease I will have to set it with a Ben Nye banana luxury powder and then I will be contouring my face with a Zyron face definer in PZ05 I love to contour my face immediately after I highlight and you know just as the highlight the contour tool also help to define your face and also I like to contour my face before I go in with my powder. To set the whole of my face I'll be using the MAC Studio Face NC42 to set the whole of my face and blend everything up. And for my blush, I'll be applying the Sleek Blush in Coral, Mild and Nice. And so I'll be lining my waterline with the Maybelline Kosor Kajal in Black, one of my favorite eyeliners. <laughs> I easily tear up anytime I apply my liner or my waterline. But anyways, I'm also going back to the palette. Um, I'm taking that same color I use for my crease just to smudge in the liner on my waterline. Then I'll be applying the NYX mascara in black both on my upper lashes together with the falsies and my lower lashes. To my lips, I'll first line my lips with the NYX lip liner in Never. And then I'll take in a brush just to brush it up and blend it in so it doesn't have like this sharp line. And then I'll be applying this beautiful lip color from RLG. It's a matte color and it's called Delta G. I really, really love this lip color. When you apply it, it comes out smooth and beautiful. And also I'll clean up the edges of my lip with a concealer. And then to bronze my face, I'll go back to the Zara Face Definer palette and I'll be applying the bronzer. And that will be all for the face. So back to my hair. I'll be using the expression Kinky Braid. 
and I just took about half from the pack, not all of it, because I don't want my wrap to be very big. And so I'll bend it into two and use a rubber band in the middle and tie it up, kind of. I hope I'm explaining that well. And then have a part of the rubber band where I could wrap it to my hair, just as you're saying. To wrap it up, I'll be using a bobby pin. It is nothing difficult, it's very easy. All you have to do is just take the, the kinky hair and just wrap it round where I packed my hair behind and use the bobby pin to secure it so it doesn't fall out. This is how the back looks and that is it for the hair very easy to do i'll just go back to my face and spray the zaron finishing spray to set my makeup and that is all uh, uh, it will boy in the building uh, design in the building uh, hey check it out y'all xp y'all and that is all for this easy and beautiful hair and makeup tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video share and leave your comment until i see you on my next one bye the bit is too clunk on your head